Okay, so when I look at these, I see events that have happened in the past that people might have forgotten about, like Jackie the Copeland, Man March. the executive but director of the Reginald the F. Lewis Museum, March is inspecting a new collection that gives her goosebumps. I will be proud to support the nominee of this convention. Because I have a dream. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. Oh, the Obama buttons. People will like that. And Michelle is here, too, because sometimes I think she's more famous than Obama. Robert Hall of Laurel gave the museum his collection of 1,063 buttons, historical trinkets with powerful messages depicting entertainers, athletes, political and social movers and shakers. So it's a different way of telling our story. It's really important to remind people of our history because we are in um, a challenged society right now. Close-up photos of the button collection can be seen by clicking onto the museum website. 219 are currently available. Eventually, all 1,063 will be posted. It's a multi-step process. So we assign a number to each button so that when it's in storage, we can find that exact button. It's really great because there's so many stories hidden in the buttons. So we have the overarching story of the donor. So like what, his, what he was doing when he was collecting it, where he was going to find the pieces, how long he's been collecting. That whole story of being a collector is hidden in these buttons. The buttons will be put on display at the museum in a strategic way. For example, next year, there will be a women in politics exhibit. So in 2020, when we celebrate women having the right to vote, we'll bring out some of those political buttons. Um, so we'll, we'll bring them out for all kinds of programs, and I'm, I'm sure they'll be a big hit. The donor chose the Reginald F. Lewis Museum because he knew his collection would be appreciated here. Write women back into history. Stop racist attacks. Justice for Trayvon. These are historic. These are important. Stop lynching ourselves. This tells our history. David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.